So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the software. I think you'll be surprised at how easy this software is to use. Why don't we go ahead and create a revocable living trust. So we'll go here to RLT plan, we'll double click. We'll start a new answer file. Then we'll just start inputting the information. So here we'll do a married couple. We'll represent both husband and wife. You can put the date of birth and social security there if you want to. I like to put any other names they're known by. Notice that this is in red. This means that you can't go past this block until you answer this question. It's just here to help you. We'll go ahead and put in their home address. When you're ready, hit next. Put in the children's first name, whether they're male or female. I don't usually put their social security number, whose child it is. In this case, we'll say it's both. But if not, you can click on one or the other, whether you're going to treat the stepchild as their own or not. If they're deceased or disinherit, if they have a different address, you can put that in here. Add another child. If you have any other person that's going to be named in the documents, you can go ahead and put them in here. You can put in as many as you need to here. Let's say you have an entity. Under other person or entity named in the document, you could include siblings of the grantors, other family members or friends, or even the client's tax planner or financial advisor, or maybe a corporate trustee. Anyone else that will be named in the document goes in here. Then we can decide if we want to create a joint or separate revocable living trust, if we're going to create separate or joint asset schedules. Again, we have something in red here, so we want to make sure that we fill that out. We click that we have a pour over well. We just name our trust. One of the neat features is copy husband settings. This will save you a lot of time down the road. Next, we'll put in the governing law. For this example, we'll say we're the state of Texas. And this is just other information that you can customize within the software. One of the things you'll notice down here is a help file. One of the neat things about this software is the help text that's at the bottom. If you have any questions about what one of the selections does, this can really help you pick the right solution for your client. Here we have a disability panel. We'll go ahead and fill that out. In this case, we'll put the spouse and Selecting people is real easy. You just hit select because you've already put them in here. Double click on them. If you want to add another, hit select. Double click on them. Hit next. If you want to appoint a successor panel member, you can do that again very easily. Next, we have a personal care plan. Next, we'll jump down to healthcare agents. If you're using DocuBank, we have a DocuBank enrollment form. All you have to do is input the individual's information. Next, jumping down to plan trust design, you can choose whether or not you need to include a right of first refusal, where the client wants to offer a specific item to someone first to see if they want it. You also could include specific requests or create a credit shelter family and marital trust. And even if your client doesn't have a taxable estate or likely ever will, you could also include a common trust, which would still give asset protection. You can check whether or not you want to include a trust protector. Another feature of the enhanced trust plans is that there is specific language allowing the trust to act as a see-through trust. These provisions were designed by some of the top tax trust lawyers in the country and they allow the trust to be the beneficiary of an IRA without subjecting it to the rule requiring mandatory distributions within five years from the date of death of the owner. So let's say we select a specific bequest. You can go ahead and enter the beneficiary. Whether it's going to be outright or in a trust. Let's say we're going to give them cash on the grantor's death next we can decide if we want to have equal shares to the beneficiaries or not if we select no we'll be allowed to break out the percentages and it calculates it for you on how much is remaining 
We'll go ahead and hit yes. Because this is an enhanced trust, we have the opportunity to create a separate shared trust for the beneficiary. Or we can have it go outright. Notice that we could have different distributions to different beneficiaries depending on what the client's goals are. As we move through the answer file, you can see that we can select the ultimate beneficiaries, that is those who that can inherit if everything else falls through. You could design the trust for minor beneficiaries in what we call the understated age trust, and design the trust for incompetent or disabled beneficiaries. Next, we design the power of attorney, select who will be the executor and successor executor of the pour over wills and then who will serve as trustees for the different trusts and standby trusts that we've created in this plan. Now skipping down to the trust protector, we can select who's going to be the trust protector. Here you just put the signing information for when the client's going to sign the documents. And you can put the witness information in or you can put it blank. Now here are all the documents that you could generate in this plan. We have the husband's power of attorney, health care directive, personal care plan, will. We have the wife's power of attorney, health care directive, personal care plan, and will. In this plan, we chose to do a joint revocable living trust. We can create an affidavit of trust. Again, if we're doing DocuBank, we can create the DocuBank enrollment forms. Next, we assemble the documents, hit finish. We will save it. And there we are, the documents now generate. The really nice thing about this software is that it is so easy to use, yet so powerful. And what will truly revolutionize your practice is a system that we use that allows you to design the plan, but then hand it off to someone else to input the data into the system and draft the document, which will in turn free you up so that you can do things that only you can do. You can talk with more clients, or you can go out and meet with more referral partners. Thank you for walking through this with me today. If you'd like a one-on-one -on -one call to go over part of the software more in depth, or if you have questions about this software, go to www.letstalklwpsoftware.com www.letstalklwpsoftware.com